How's it going? It's Alan from Reactive Lighting here. Just want to show you some of our systems. The first system we have here is called the Model 1000, and this is the base model. What this one allows you to do is control lights with a, a few switches. So we have a number of stair lights. All of the stair lights can be controlled off this one. We're showing you one of the stair lighting here just as a demonstration. The control box is over here, and that's connected to a few switches. So let me just show you what happens when we uh, activate some of these switches. So you would have one switch at the top, one switch at the bottom. And this is very much uh, similar to what you would have in a standard home. As I flip these switches, it allows your stair lights to all turn on or all turn off. This system is pretty flexible. You can have up to 50 of these lights. So you could have a few on each step or even three or four if you wanted. And uh, it, it really adds a lot of enhancement to your step. And uh, it gives you some, some flair and some functionality also. Now, the granddaddy system is actually the Model 2000. It adds a ton of features. So what we have over here, this is a cabinet you would install for the Model 2000. So this system can actually have 16 stairs connected to it. It has motion activated uh, uh, sensors. So what it does is it actually looks for you coming into the stairwell and it turns the lights on. So this system is actually in a demonstration mode here. So what you're seeing right now is the lights turning off as if somebody came in from the bottom, had walked up to the top, and then the lights turned off behind them. And if we watch this again here, we saw the lights came on, and here again, they're turning off. So this is just a demonstration mode, you know, nothing was actually done to activate this, this is just, this is just doing this uh, over and over. This system generally doesn't have any switches connected to it, but it can. You can have a switch at the top and the bottom, so, you know, you're having a party that night, what you could do is you could actually flip the switch, keep the lights on for the whole evening. What we find a lot of people are doing, however, is you can just mount the switch uh, beside where you uh, mount your controller, and then you can, you can flip the switch there, leave it on for the whole evening, flip the switch off when you're done, and you can call it a day. I'll show you the lighting options that are available for both of these systems. We have a demonstration unit right here. Because one light doesn't sort of fit all situations. Um, carpeted stairs, hardwood stairs, painted stairs, or people that just want a hidden look can choose one of the lighting options we have here. Let me start with the, one of the more popular ones. This is a one foot LED strip light. It has a number of LEDs on it. They're very bright in this uh, particular uh, fashion because we're pointing it right at the camera. But this is obviously the top of the stair. These lights are now shining directly on the stair directly below it. So this adds tons of illumination. But when you're coming up the stairs or going down the stairs, you don't actually see the light. So it's basically a hidden lighting option for your stairs. Now, a lot of people go, well, this is hidden, but I got the, this bling on my stairs. I would like to have something that actually people can see and people are gravitated to. Well, that's where these lights come in. So we have these lights down below here. So these are uh, completely flush mount. So this is the actual light right here. So you can see that they're very, very thin and most of the light is actually recessed into the stair. So it gives you a fantastic look. This is one of the harder ones to install, but the look is just fabulous. We'll switch over to the next ones. So these lights here are also just beautiful. They come in white and black. And these ones are very, very easy to install in cases such as carpeted stairs. Because all you do is you take your lights, you drill one hole for your wires to come out, you put a few screws in, and then your, your uh, stair light is done. Let's take a look at our last option here. Now this is edge lighting. So these two lights here, you don't need two, we have two in this demonstration, but you can only, you can only uh, use one if you want. This will actually illuminate your stair right across the top. Gives you fantastic illumination and uh, it gives you an almost hidden look because these are very, very tiny. And until they turn on, you don't really see that they're there. Now I just want to explain a few things. These two lights here are completely waterproof. So this upper one and this lower one, we actually have them sitting in this jar of water just to sort of prove the fact. They've been sitting in here for, you know, about uh, 48 hours now. We don't, we don't recommend that you actually run them underwater, but this is just a demonstration just to show that they are completely waterproof. So that if these things were, you know, out in the rain on your dock or on your patio, not to worry, uh, the water isn't going to affect them. Okay, now over to the granddaddy demonstration here. What we have is actually a full set of stairs and this is actually set up to be motion sensitive. If you look over here, we actually have one of the motion sensors. So this motion sensor, you know, just for uh, um, ease of installation here, we mounted it on the sidewall. But this motion sensor would normally mount it down at ankle level or right on the ceiling. And it would just 
catch you as you're walking through. It's what's called a curtain sensor. So unlike the motion sensor you might be used to, the curtain sensor actually detects a very narrow path. So a motion sensor in your house would actually detect something that is uh, activating in your room. This one will actually detect a, a very uh, small area. Okay, so if you take a look at the stairs here, I'm gonna walk through this one, which would normally be mounted directly above the stairs, and we'll see what happens. So there we go. The lights turn on. Now just imagine me walking all the way up to the top of the stairs, and the lights will turn off right behind me. Give you that fabulous effect. Now, of course, I'm standing right in front of the motion sensor, so I just activated it again. But that's uh, what the system does. Thanks a lot for checking out Reactive Lighting. We hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. For more information about any of our products, please visit us at reactivelighting.com.